Hi there. Today we're embarking on a captivating journey as we step back in time to explore the legendary movie Grease. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of this classic show. Grease is a timeless gem that has left an indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting the series with the entire cast, then and now. We'll uncover the original identities and ages of the talented actors from the show and witness how they've transformed in 2023. So, without further ado, let's dive into the world of Greece. Number 1. John Travolta as Danny In the face of confrontation, Danny never retreats, showcasing an unwavering spirit. Guided by a fortunate mix of luck and charisma, he skillfully maneuvers out of precarious situations. Spending time with Danny is exhilarating, but it's crucial to heed the cautionary warnings from concerned mothers, an epitome of the archetypal bad boy whose priorities center primarily around his own interests. Before stepping into Danny Zuko's leather jacket, John Travolta had already secured stardom with roles like Vinnie Barbarino on Welcome Back, Cotter, Billy Nolan in Carrie, 1976, and Tony Manero in Saturday Night Fever, 1977, earning his first Academy Award nomination for the latter. While Urban Cowboy in 1980 continued his success, the subsequent decade brought disappointments, leading to a career slump. In 1989, a turning point came with the success of Look Who's Talking, alongside Kirstie Alley. However, it was Quentin Tarantino's Pulp Fiction in 1994 that ignited his career, garnering him a second Oscar nomination. Travolta went on to star in hits like Get Shorty, 1995, Face Off, 1997, and Primary Colors, 1998. His return to movie musicals included playing Edna Turnblad in the 2007 remake of Hairspray. In 2012, Travolta reunited with Olivia Newton-John for their holiday album, This Christmas. And in 2016, he earned his first Emmy nomination for portraying Robert Shapiro in FX's The People vs. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story. Danny played by John Travolta when he was 24 years old, and now he is 69 years old. Six. Number 2, Olivia Newton-John as Sandy Sandy, a beacon of kindness, warmth, and consideration. All she desires is to relish life and love, a task made challenging in the complex social landscape of a stereotypical American high school. The stark contrast between Sandy's unwavering goodness and Rizzo's simmering animosity is like witnessing fire and ice locked in an eternal struggle. It's the clash of contrasting forces shaping the tapestry of our human experience. Already a Grammy-winning recording artist and country music star, Olivia Newton-John's career soared to greater heights after her portrayal of Good Girl Gone Bad Sandy in the blockbuster hit Grease. The film's success, coupled with Newton-John's soundtrack contributions like Hopelessly Devoted to You and Summer Nights, made her the second woman to have two singles in the Billboard Top 5 simultaneously. Her performance in Grease also earned her a Golden Globe nomination. Inspired by her transformation into Bad Sandy, Newton-John embraced a new sound and image for her next album, Totally Hot, adding a pink lady's edge. Her next venture, the movie musical Xanadu, co-starring Gene Kelly, faced criticism but produced a hit soundtrack and several top 20 singles, including the number one chart topper, Magic. It was on the set of Xanadu that she met her first husband, Matt Latanzi, and later gave birth to their daughter, Chloe Rose, in 1986. In 1981, Newton-John released Physical, the most significant album of her career. The title track dominated the Billboard Hot 100 for 10 weeks, and its playful, aerobics-inspired music video became an MTV staple. She went on to record 15 more studio albums, amassing a career total of 26 and selling over 100 million units worldwide. 
Diagnosed with breast cancer in 1992, Newton John became a dedicated advocate for cancer research, eventually founding the Olivia Newton John Cancer and Wellness Center in Australia. Despite facing cancer recurrence in 2013 and 2017, she remained resilient. On August 8, 2022, her husband John Easterling announced her passing at the age of 73. Sandy played by Olivia Newton-John when she was 30 years old. Sadly, Newton-John died of breast cancer on 8 August 2022 at age 73 at her home in the Santa Weens Valley of California. Number 3. Stockard Channing as Rizzo Rizzo strides onto the scene as the epitome of sass and sarcasm, rocking a tough exterior with just a hint of darkness. Her sharp wit and piercing remarks effortlessly command attention. While she may have her moments with guys like Danny, Leo, and even commit to a serious relationship with Kanicki, Rizzo staunchly rejects the idea that men hold any special status. She's the queen of independence and sass, and no one's taking that crown from her. When Stalker Channing was cast as the high school bad girl Rizzo, she already boasted an impressive resume with notable stage and screen credits, including a starring role alongside Warren Beatty and Jack Nicholson in Mike Nichols' The Fortune, 1975. After brief attempts at sitcom stardom in the early 1980s, Channing collaborated again with Nicholson and Nichols, alongside Meryl Streep, for the film Heartburn, based on Nora Ephron's best-selling novel. Her commitment to the stage also thrived, earning her a Tony Award for Best Actress in a Play for Peter Nichols' A Day in the Death of Joe Egg. She received nominations for her performances in The House of Blue Leaves, Six Degrees of Separation, Four Baboons Adoring the Sun, The Lion in Winter, and Pal Joey for Best Actress in a Musical, and Other Dessert Cities. In 1993, she reprised her role as Louisa Weeza Kittredge in the film adaptation of Six Degrees, garnering Academy Award and Golden Globe nominations. Throughout the 90s, she maintained a steady presence before joining the cast of the acclaimed drama The West Wing in 1999, earning six Emmy nominations and one win. She later won another Emmy for the made-for-television movie The Matthew Shepard Story in 2002, securing a Screen Actors Guild Award as well. Channing has continued to grace both stage and screen, playing a recurring role on the CBS drama The Good Wife until 2016. Rizzo played by Stockard Channing when she was 34 years old, and now she is 79 years old. Number 4. Jeff Conaway as Kenicky Kenicky, with his tough exterior and classic greaser style, is a magnetic presence wherever he steps. Confidence and swagger ooze from him, leaving an unmistakable imprint on the high school scene. Sure, he's got a hot-headed streak, the occasional outburst, but here's the beauty. Kenicky's flaws only crank up his authenticity. Unapologetically himself, he becomes a symbol of rebellion and freedom within the rigid boundaries of high school society. Kenicky, the embodiment of raw, unfiltered individuality, making high school a little more vibrant and a lot less conventional. During a brief period in the 1970s, Jeff Conaway was a feathered hair heartthrob. However, his career took a rocky turn after his time as Kenicky in the musical Grease, and his role on the classic ABC sitcom, Taxi. Despite his three-year stint on the sci-fi series Babylon 5, Conaway's career in the 1980s and 1990s mainly consisted of made-for-TV and direct-to-video films, with his high-profile struggles with drug and alcohol abuse garnering significant attention. In 2006, Conaway's appearance on VH1's Celebrity Fit Club marked a further decline. He eventually ended up on the network's Celebrity Rehab with Dr. Drew, where the actor, frail and seemingly suicidal, bore little resemblance to the handsome, smart Alec whose career had once held so much promise. In the end, Conaway became a cautionary tale of addiction, passing away much too young after numerous public struggles. The actor, who went through three marriages and divorces, faced public struggles with substance abuse, 
candidly addressing his issues on the reality TV show Celebrity Rehab with Dr. Drew. Conaway also revealed to Howard Stern that he had attempted suicide on multiple occasions. Kennecke played by Jeff Conaway when he was 28 years old. Sadly, Conaway died of pneumonia the following morning at the age of 60 in Encino, California. Number 5. Barry Pearl as Duty Every step, every rhythm, and Danny effortlessly snatches the spotlight, commanding the attention of his pals and sending the ladies into a frenzy. Peel back the layers and there's more to Danny than meets the eye. Amid the dazzle, you uncover vulnerability and insecurity as he wrestles with the age-old dilemma of acceptance versus love. Danny. The guy who dances through the spotlight but carries the weight of inner battles. Frenchie's mischievous boyfriend, Duty, was brought to life by Barry Pearl, who had previously performed in the first national tour of Greece before joining the cast of the film. Over the years, he has accumulated an extensive list of guest star credits on TV shows, such as Alfred Hitchcock Presents, Baywatch, Beverly Hills, 902, Tell, and even Stevens. Interestingly, Pearl and his on-screen love interest, Dee Dee Khan, are the only two cast members from the 1978 film who appeared in Greece Live in 2016. Beyond his acting career, Pearl has delved into directing, overseeing various theatrical productions. He has also contributed to the field of film arts by teaching at Joey Travolta's Inclusion Film Company, which focuses on providing opportunities for children and adults with developmental disabilities. Duty played by Barry Pearl when she was 28 years old, and now she is 73 years old. Number 6. Michael Tucci as Sonny Imagine Sonny as the ever-reliable sidekick to the iconic Danny Zuko, armed with a quip for every occasion. He's the dude who transforms the ordinary into uproarious laughter, the spark of comedic brilliance that has us teetering on the edge of our seats. Sonny, a human dynamo, lighting up the scene with his playful spirit and irreverent charm. In the world of high-energy hilarity, He's the guy who keeps the laughter rolling. Tucci gained prominence for his portrayal of Sonny Lattieri, a member of the T-Birds, in the 1978 film adaptation of the musical Grease. Beyond his iconic role, he took on the character of law student Gerald Golden in the TV series The Paper Chase from 1983 to 1986. Further showcasing his versatility, Tucci assumed the role of Pete Shoemaker, best friend on its Gary Shandling show from 1986 to 1990. Additionally, he spent over three years touring with various productions of the musical Chicago, delivering a noteworthy performance as Amos, the husband of Roxy Hart. Television audiences may also recognize Tucci as Norman Briggs, Mark Sloan's friend and hospital administrator during the initial four seasons of Diagnosis, Murder. Notably, he played the father of Melissa McCarthy's character in The Heat, 2013. Apart from his on-screen endeavors, Tucci dedicated himself to teaching and coaching theater at St. Francis High School in La Cañada, Flintridge, California. In 2014, he directed the school's rendition of We're the Millers, featuring American-Croatian comedians George Dulcic and Stanko Zovac. Outside of his career, Tucci shares his life with his wife, Kathleen Tucci, and the couple has two daughters named Kate and Kelly. Sonny played by Michael Tucci when she was 32 years old, and now she is 77 years old. Number 7. Kelly Ward as Putsy. Meet Putsy, the T-bird with a passion for cars and an unwavering loyalty that's as solid as his steel chariots. He may not be the loudest in the group, but when it comes to comic relief, he's your guy. Carefree attitude and lighthearted humor in tow. Putsy, the dependable mate who might not steal the spotlight but can always be banked on for support and a hearty laugh. While he may not boast the outgoing charisma of his T-bird pals, Putsy's genuine nature and steadfast loyalty carve him a crucial spot in the crew. Kelly Ward brought the character of Putsy, the youngest member of the T-birds, to life in a role specifically crafted for the film. 
Prior to Greece, Ward collaborated with his co-star John Travolta on the 1976 made-for-television movie The Boy in the Plastic Bubble. After a few more TV appearances in shows like Masch, The Waltons, and Magnum P.I., Ward retired from on-camera acting five years later. Post-acting, he transitioned into a career as a voice director for Disney television animation and a screenwriter for various cartoons, including the feature film All Dogs Go to Heaven 2, 1996. From 1992 to 1996, he held the position of Vice President of Animation at MGM Studios. Additionally, Ward dedicated 23 years as an adjunct musical theater professor at the University of Southern California's School of Dramatic Arts. Putsy played by Kelly Ward when he was 33 years old and now he is 66 years old. Number 8. Didi Khan as Frenchie. Like a butterfly breaking free from its cocoon, Frenchie unfurls her wings, chasing her passion for beauty. With arms wide open, she embraces the realm of cosmetology, transforming herself into a vibrant expression of art. Frenchie, not just a visual spectacle, but a soul evolving and soaring in pursuit of her true calling. Didi Khan, originally Edith Bernstein, holds the unique distinction of being the sole cast member to grace all three screen adaptations of Greece. Beyond her iconic role as beauty school dropout Frenchie in the original 1978 film, she ventured into television, starring in shows like The Fawns and The Happy Days Gang, Benson, and the PBS series Shining Time Station, alongside Ringo Starr and later George Carlin. Khan extended her presence to series such as Law and Order, Special Victims Unit, Transparent, and Blue Bloods. In 2019, she showcased her skills on the hit British series Dancing on Ice, though she exited the competition in week four. Facing a personal challenge with her son David's autism diagnosis, Khan emerged as a vocal advocate for autism awareness. Her commitment led to her appointment as the national celebrity spokesperson for Autism Speaks in 2008. Since 1982, she has been happily married to her second husband, David Shire. Frenchie played by Dee Dee Khan when she was 27 years old, and now she is 71 years old. Number 9. Jamie Donnelly as Jan Jan is the secret ingredient, the flavor enhancer in every scene, sprinkling it with her infectious joy and insatiable love for all things culinary. She's the ultimate foodie, a walking encyclopedia of snacks and treats, turning the phrase love at first bite into her personal mantra. Jan, the charming culinary maestro, making every moment a delightful feast for the senses. Jamie Donnelly brought the character of Jan, the nerdy and junk food loving member of the Pink Ladies, to life in both the stage musical and the film adaptation of Grease. Her portrayal of Jan originated on Broadway, and she retained the role for the film, making her the sole cast member to play the same part in both productions. Before Grease, Donnelly showcased her talent in the premieres of the Rocky Horror Show in New York and Los Angeles, sharing the stage with Tim Curry. Following the success of Grease, Donnelly took a hiatus from acting, lasting almost 20 years, during which she worked as a theatrical coach in the Los Angeles area. She made a comeback to acting in the late 90s and has since appeared in various television series, including Monk, Veep, and Ray Donovan. Additionally, she graced the big screen in films such as Cyrus, 2010, alongside Marisa Tomei and Black Mass, 2015, with Johnny Depp. Jan played by Didi Khan when she was 31 years old and now she is 76 years old. Number 10, Dinah Manoff as Marty. Marty, the aspiring sophisticate, is all about projecting an air of refinement, generally kind but catch her attention with anything unrelated to herself or juicy gossip, and you might as well be talking to the wind. Take summer nights, for example. Sandy's words seem to fall on deaf ears, joined in apathy by none other than Rizzo. Marty's top priority? Maintaining an image of maturity, steering clear of anything that might label her as juvenile. 
Watch out for those eye rolls when Jan slips into her playful side. Marty's all about keeping it sophisticated. Dina Manoff, the daughter of screenwriter Arnold Manoff and Oscar and Emmy-winning actress Lee Grant, brought the character Marty Maraschino to life as the pink lady's biggest flirt in Greece. Following her role in the iconic film and a year-long stint on the ABC sitcom Soap in 1978, Manoff achieved acclaim, winning a Tony Award for Best Performance by a featured actress in a play in 1980 for Neil Simon's I Ought to Be in Pictures. Throughout the 80s, Manoff remained busy, starring in the film adaptation of I Ought to Be in Pictures, as well as securing roles in Ordinary People and the horror movie Child's Play. In 1988, she took on the lead role of Carol Weston in the hit NBC spin-off of The Golden Girls, Empty Nest, co-starring alongside Richard Mulligan and Christy McNichol, and featured in every episode of its seven-season run. Manoff, who has three children with her second husband, Arthur Mortell, faced tragedy with the loss of her oldest son, Dashiell, in a car accident in 2017. To cope with her grief, she began teaching acting at the Purdy Corrections Center for Women in Gig Harbor, Wash. In 2021, she expanded her creative pursuits by releasing her first novel, The Real True Hollywood Story of Jackie Gold, through Star Alley Press. Marty played by Dinah Manoff when she was 22 years old, and now she is 67 years old. Number 11. Eve Arden as Principal McGee. Meet Principal McGee, the no-nonsense leader on a mission to uphold order and discipline among the students. Dedicated to her role, she takes it seriously, ensuring the school runs like a well-oiled machine. While she might lay down the law with authority, there's more to Principal McGee than meets the eye. In unexpected moments, she reveals a softer side, offering compassion and understanding to the students. Moving effortlessly between the stage and screens big and small, Arden remained a viable character player well past retirement age, upstaging film newcomers John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John in Greece. Ill health forced Arden's retirement in 1987, while her death from cancer in 1990 dropped the curtain on the brilliant career of a unique and irreplaceable comic talent. Principal McGee played by Eve Arden when she was 70 years old. Sadly, on November 12, 1990, Arden died at home at age 82. According to her death certificate, she died due to cardiac arrest and arteriosclerotic heart disease. Number 12. Joan Blondell as V.V., the linguistic magician, casts her spell, enchanting students and earning the respect of all who dare to test her intellectual waters. Her formidable exterior might scream sarcasm, but beneath that armor lies a heart genuinely concerned for her student's success. Don't let the wit fool you. Vi's not just shaping minds, she's nurturing them with a blend of linguistic prowess and genuine care. Unconventionally beautiful, gifted performer who appeared in over 80 films while maintaining a successful stage career. Blondell played a number of leads, secondary leads, and, later, character parts, often as brassy but warm-hearted types. Among her best-known films are Gold Diggers of 1933, Nightmare Alley, and The Cincinnati Kid. She was married to cinematographer George Barnes, actor Dick Powell, and producer Mike Todd. Vi played by Joan Blondell when she was 72 years old. Blondell died of leukemia in Santa Monica, California, on Christmas Day, 1979, with her children and her sister at her bedside. She was 73 years old. We reflect on the incredible journey of Grease cast from 1978. Witnessing their growth and transformations, it's evident that the bond forged during those years has left an enduring legacy. From thrilling highway pursuits to heartwarming moments, these actors brought the California Highway Patrol to life. Their stories continue to resonate with fans around the world. As we explore their then and now, we celebrate the enduring impact of Greece. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic trip down the California highways with the remarkable Greece of yesteryear.